guys okay so I'm back with another video and this time I want to have a look at the smart home soon off device hope that you could see it there and this is a device that is controlled by Google Home or Alexa um, and pretty much it's a wireless device that switch on and switch offs off the um, uh, any devices that you have it, it uses 110 volts to power it up and and outputs 110 so I just put it in between a power plug here and so I want to see what is the latent um, power that this that, that it actually uses I'm sure it has to use some power but I'm just not sure so um, I'm not connected to anything on this side it's not connected so we just want to see how much power it actually uses oops hit the tripod there um, and uh, yeah so without further ado let's go so we're connected to the at this point we are connected to the kilowatt and we're gonna have a look and now we're gonna plug this in as you can see it is the same thing so we're gonna plug this in here hopefully not take up too much of the camera space here and we connect we are currently pointing to the watts right the watt setting so let's see how much watts this actually uses wow okay um, surprisingly it uses 0 0.5 six watts which is kind of surprising for me considering that um the google home used like 1.5 watts um but yeah so it, it does draw some power uh, and that's off wow okay um see it's dropping from to 0 0.3 0 0.4 it is a wi-fi module so it would be connecting and so forth all right but let's have a look at what the ampage is like here too as well Okay, so the amps is really, really low, lower than you know the Google Home, etc. So it's probably not using anything, just one, just even 0 0.01. Okay, so um, that's pretty much um, this video, I guess. But uh, what? Well, the conclusion is that um, in this case, this device is not going to really um, cost a lot of money once it's you know it basically powered on. It's it's <laughs> you're talking about pennies I would I suppose at this point in time um, and as you can see it fluctuates it fluctuates up but it doesn't ever cross one watt so I'd say this is you know fairly fairly good device low low power device um, at this point maybe we should actually switch on the relay and see how the relay works so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell my Google to switch on the TV because this actually controls the TV um, so hey Google switch on TV Okay, turning the living room TV on. Okay, so we see that there is a there is a certain amount of draw, but the draw is 0 0.4 watts when it's actually on. And that's not drawing anything. That's not drawing any current, as I said. It's not drawing any current from here. So um, but good to know considering the fact that I didn't think that the relay would draw even that. I thought switching it on wouldn't make really a difference, but it did make a difference there. So guys, I hope this will, you know, help you give you an idea what's going on with the Sonoff um, devices. And um, stay tuned for another video. Please like, like it. Please subscribe to the channel uh, for more of these, you know, short videos that may be helpful to you. Especially if you have like, you know, um, if you're using solar, this would probably be an important video for you. All right, guys. So take care. Bye-bye.